26,400 seconds in a day. Do you praise him every second? So is it practical? The whole day long say, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. The boss comes to you and he asks you to come and say, thank you, Jesus, thank you. Children of all, you, thank you, Jesus, thank you. And that's the only communication. And it's so sad, no. I think that it, it has to do more with your attitude. It is your disposition. Do you have a disposition of praise? Is that something that automatically comes from your being? It comes from a place where you recognize that the very breath you breathe is because of God. And therefore your attitude is one of constant praise and worship. But then the Holy Spirit cautioned me. He said to me, far too often though, we praise him out of habit. It is a habit. You come to church, you sing a song, you raise your hands, you close your eyes, you go a little fall, a little. <laughs> and then you move on. But are you really, are you really praising him? Listen, there are four stages of learning. There's the unconscious incompetent. That person is just ignorant. And that's not ignorant like danger. That is ignorant. When you don't know what or how, right? Then there is the conscious incompetent. That way you are aware that you don't know. There is the conscious competent person. You know and you are concentrating to make sure that you do what you know. You ready so far? Yeah. And then you have the unconscious competent. They call that mastery, where it becomes second nature. So, in praising God, sometimes we are unconsciously competent. We praise God like second nature. But sometimes second nature breeds complacency. It is so normal to praise God that we are no longer intentional than we praise Him. We are no longer Deliberate when we praise him. And the Holy Spirit said to me, He says, I, I want your praise not only to be constant, but I want it to be intentional. I don't want hallelujah to fall on your mouth just because that's the moment for it. You know, when, when somebody preaches say, put an amen there, that's a good place for an amen. No, I want you to be a conscious praiser. I want you to consciously be grateful for the things that I do for you. I want you to be consciously thankful when I make a way when there seems to be no way. I want you to be consciously.